Welcome to another day in pre-K with Miss Susie. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you have a great day today. But do you know what today is? Let's sing our days of the week song so we know what day it is today, okay? Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Do you guys know what day it is today? Today is Thursday and it is October 29th. And we are learning about simple machines this week. And so let's look at our question of the day. Our question of the day is, what is an inclined plane? Hmm. I want you to take a video and let me know what an inclined plane is. And if you don't remember, I want you to listen to the story. And when you see the inclined plane, then maybe you'll remember what it is. Um, when you're done with that, boys and girls, let me know about personal hygiene. And I want you to watch the video that I have linked. And then I want you to... Tell me, why do you think it's important to wash your hands? When you are done with that, boys and girls, I want you to listen to the read aloud. And our read aloud, again, is my neighbors and their simple machines. And um, when you are done with that story, boys and girls, I want you to write about it for literacy today. I want you to write about a simple machine from the story. It could be any simple machine you remember reading about in the story or hearing about and I want you to draw a picture of it and I want you to try to write what kind of simple machine it is and let me know what you use it for okay when you are done with that boys and girls for math today I want you to draw six crescent moons and if you don't know what a crescent moon is it looks like a big smile or it looks like a banana and pretty much um, a crescent moon is kind of like a little small piece of a round moon, but it's just small. So I'm going to draw a crescent moon for you so you know what it looks like. But I want you to draw more than one. I want you to draw six crescent moons. So I'm going to draw a crescent moon. This is my crescent moon. It kind of looks like a banana. But that's my crescent moon, and I have to draw six. So that's one, two, and three, four, five, six. And they don't have to be perfect, but try your best. All right, boys and girls. When you are done drawing your crescent moons, I want you, for your outdoor experience today, I want you to, you can either do this indoor too, you don't have to do outdoor because it's getting cold, I know. But you can do some skipping or galloping. And when you skip, you just swish your foot back and forth and skip along. And then when you gallop, it's kind of like a horse. You just jump with one feet forward and one feet back and you just jump. Well, this is skipping. La, 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 la. And 
you were going to skip, you move one feet forward and the other feet back and then the other feet forward and then the other feet back. So you switch your feet. But when you gallop, you just, you keep one foot in the front and you keep one foot in the back. And a lot of people compare galloping to a horse. So you go. Here's my two feet. Let's see. See how this feet is always in the front? So it's kind of hard for me to show you because I don't have a lot of space. I have a video in there to show you what galloping is and what skipping is so you know what it looks like too, okay? All right. When you are done with that, boys and girls, you can get on your tablets for app time today and you can complete your assignments on Con Kids and then go on to iXL, complete any skills that you haven't for um, iXL math, pre-K skill B. There's some additional skills, so you can complete those if you haven't yet. And then you can, for language arts, complete skill E. Make sure all the skills are done if they're not done. And then just remember the 80% or more to be proficient. And when you're done with that, boys and girls, then you just go on Epic and read two or three books. And that's it. And that's all. And just a quick reminder, boys and girls, tomorrow is Friday. And um, we are not doing a um, group, small group Zoom tell, but we will be doing um, assessment. So I will be playing individual games with one of you, and I will let your mom and dad know what time you're going to be meeting with me. And I'll come on and I'll practice with you some letters and numbers and shapes and colors. And we're going to be reviewing those and I want to see what you know. So I want you to try your best. And if you don't know, you can just say you don't know and I can tell you, okay? But I want you to try your best because I want to see how smart you are, okay? All right. Have a good day. Goodbye, boys and girls.